What's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to avoid FPS drops or stutters in Force Horizon 5. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know how to fix this issue. Um, before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and um, help me out as a little YouTuber for the journey here on youtube for me especially subscribing would be a big support for me and it's free for you guys and would support my work here on youtube and i'm gonna just say thank you for that for that right now and i would just say let's get started so in order to fix fps drops or starters in force horizon 5 the first step is going to be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or going down to your taskbar right clicking it and opening up your task manager what I want you to do next is going to be to click on CPU and end everything process which is not related to Windows and having too much CPU usage um, in general. So you're going to search those programs, you're going to right click them and end the task. The same is for your GPU, you want, I want you to click on GPU and do the same thing for your GPU usage. Once you're finished here, I want you to close this one down. Next step is going to be to go to the bottom left corner of your screen and opening up your settings. Once you're at your settings, I want you to navigate onto gaming and stick right onto your Xbox game bar. What I want you to do is really obvious, I want you to turn this off because especially in low-end PCs, the Xbox Game Bar comes with low benefits and really hard impact in your performance negatively. So just turn this off and it will help you a lot with your FPS drops. Next step is gonna be to go to captures and stick right to it. Uh, go to background recording and go to record in the background while I'm playing a game and turn this one off, obviously, because you don't want Windows to record every fucking game you're, you're um, using it or you're playing in. Um, and when it's just recording in the background, and everyone who knows something about PCs will know that recording will heavily impact your performance, especially if you have a bad PC. And in general, guys, if you want to record something, you're probably not going to use Windows for that. So either way, just turn this off. Next step is going to be to click in auto game mode and turn this one on. Once you finish here, I want you to go back once and click right onto update and security. Well, I want you to stick right to Windows Update. And I know, guys, this will sound a little bit basic, but trust me, guys, it will help you a lot if you are just um updating your uh, your windows so be sure to download the latest version of windows and this will basically provide the best possible performance for your pc and positively impacting your fps drops or stutters once you've finished here i want you to do the same thing for your graphics card if you have amd you have nvidia just download the latest version it will help you a lot yeah guys that's it for the video i hope i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm really sorry if it didn't but i'm just trying to do my best and for me it fixed it so i'm just trying to do i'm just trying to help you and yeah guys either way i hope you have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye